In this video, we are going to talk about modern dairy farming. This includes dairy technology that are used for efficiency and saves money by cutting costs. Dairy farming is a class of agriculture for long-term production of milk, which is processed, either on the farm or at a dairy plant, either of which may be called a dairy, for eventual sale of a dairy product. Dairy farming has a history that goes back to the early Neolithic era, around the 7th millennium BC, in many regions of Europe and Africa. Before the 20th century, milking was done by hand on small farms. Beginning in the early 20th century, milking was done on large-scale dairy farms, with innovations including rotary parlors, the milking pipeline, and automatic milking systems that were commercially developed in the early 1990s. Milk preservation methods have improved starting with the arrival of refrigeration technology in the late 19th century, which included direct expansion refrigeration and the plate heat exchanger. These cooling methods allowed dairy farms to preserve milk by reducing spoiling due to bacterial growth and humidity. Since the 1970s, much research effort has been expended in investigating methods to alleviate time management constraints in conventional dairy farming, culminating in the development of the automated voluntary milking system. Automatic milking is the milking of dairy animals, especially of dairy cattle, without human labor. To alleviate the labor involved in milking, much of the milking process has been automated during the 20th century. Many farmers use semi-automatic or automatic cow traffic control, powered gates, etc. The milking machine, a basic form was developed in the late 19th century, has entirely automated milk extraction, and automatic cluster removal is available to remove milking equipment after milking. Automatic teat spraying systems are available, however, there is some debate over the cleaning effectiveness of these. The final manual labor tasks remaining in the milking process were cleaning and inspection of teats and attachment of milking equipment, milking cups, to teats. Automatic cleaning and attachment of milking cups is a complex task, requiring accurate detection of teat position and a dexterous mechanical manipulator. The rotolactor was the first invention for milking a large number of cows using a rotating platform. It was invented by Henry W. Jeffers. The rotolactor was initially installed in a lactorium, a building specifically designed for milking cows, in Plainsboro, New Jersey. The rotating mechanical milking machine was first used by the Walker Gordon Laboratories Dairy and was put into operation on November 13, 1930. Automatic milking is the milking of dairy animals, especially of dairy cattle, without human labor. Automatic milking systems, AMS, also called voluntary milking systems, VMS, were developed in the late 20th century. They have been commercially available since the early 1990s. The core of such systems that allows complete automation of the milking process is a type of agricultural robot. Automated milking is therefore also called robotic milking. Common systems rely on the use of computers and special herd management software. Also it used to monitor the health status of cows. Success in dairy farming depends on the exercise of efficiency with economy in all departments of the industry. The main factors concerned in the cost of production are the milk producing quality of the race and herd, the care given to breeding for milk production, housing, feeding, and general management. Those born and raised in large urban centers may be not have experienced fresh milk produced by farmers using traditional methods and being delivered on their doorsteps during the mornings. One of these methods is related to the way milk used to be packaged by farmers. In a sustainable, circular, and artisanal model, milk used to be packaged in glass bottles, returned to the farmers the next morning, when they would deliver the new milk again. The bottles were then washed, sanitized, and reused. Perhaps this is one of the oldest circular economy models in the food packaging industry. But, unfortunately, over time, this practice has been lost. From the 1980s onwards, milk in glass containers was gradually replaced by disposable plastic containers, contributing to the accumulation of packaging waste in landfills and the oceans.